I remember uh, a year ago you came up to us and said, hey, we'll be back in business tomorrow. You know, it's not going to change a whole lot. Was that the case? And kind of what did go through your head whenever you saw, you know, something that's been your family for 50 years? Kind of. Well, there was no time for a pity party. We have uh, a lot of families that rely on us for their income. And the first thing was uh, thought in my pro mind was is we have to keep the employees busy and employed. So that afternoon while the building was burning down, I called our management team together and uh, we devised our contingency plan, which was always in the back of our head. And we had uh, men leaving vehicles and head to Chicago, South Bend, Crown Point, Toledo, Mansfield, Ohio, Cincinnati, Indianapolis, and uh, Columbus, Ohio. And overnight we had 26 vehicles arrive fully loaded. And that Monday morning, um, we were at one of our off-site locations. Uh, every man worked, and we hit every job but three jobs because we didn't have the specialty material in, but that arrived that Monday, and we hit every job on Tuesday. And there was a lot of, a lot of hard work uh, for the first uh, three or four months as we tried to rebuild inventory stocks and find specialty equipment. And, uh, you know, that came in as far away from our branches in New York and, and Colorado and Alabama and it slowly arrived and crews worked seven days a week to keep up with our customers uh, demands. Was there any time in this past year that you were scared thinking hey I don't know if we can actually overcome this? No I, um, I think my father and mother raised myself how to work along with all the employees here we just put our nose to the grindstone, ground stone and, and we just worked away. Uh, uh, we just uh, have a great group of customers in the city of Fort Wayne, Northeast Indiana that we've worked for forever and uh, they believed in us and we've always believed in them and we've done the best we can to take care of them and they took care of us. So lack of work was uh, never never a, a thought in my mind. My concern was is will we be able to make sure we have enough product and enough equipment to get the job done. And, you know, we looked like a circus uh, some mornings going out of here with trucks from New York and Alabama and, and Colorado and everywhere under the sun. It was, it was almost comical, but, you know, all of our builders and general contractors knew what was going on. And, you know, like I said, we never missed a job. That's a new building. You guys haven't started construction on that yet? What's the plan? Yeah, the that? construction has been started. Um, we're, you know, in the point of uh, digging up uh, the foundations and we have to redo all them. The building that will be built on that site will not be the block building, it'll be a steel framed building. So we have to redo the whole foundation system to support the columns. As for the, my thoughts on the fire, um, this has been a 24 seven job of running the business and then trying to rebuild and then dealing with all the other factors that, that are involved. Um, there's been no time for a pity party or even to think, oh my gosh, we've lost this or that. It's more along the lines is line of with what limited amounts, and we had great insurance, limited amounts of insurance money. How will we replenish the fleet? How will we replenish the inventory? How will we rebuild a functional and code compliant building. It's been, uh, it's been uh, uh, a lot of hard work and a lot of thought process rolled into the last year. So there's no time to sit there and think, oh, we lost everything. It might have been our greatest hour, you know, show what we're made of and what we had to deal with and how we came through. The checklist you kind of listed off, you guys have marked all those off now as kind of complete or in progress of being completed? Well, uh, we lost 45 vehicles in the, in the, in the fire. 15 of them were the real specialty trucks. We have 14 out of 15 after one year replaced. It's not like you go to uh, the freight liner or the harvester truck lot and buy the truck and the, and, the, and the box and the machinery. It's all basically special specs and custom made. So that was the most uh, critical part of the, of the uh, inventory of the vehicles which we got. And, we're working on a few more things and uh, the other vehicles with, you know, bag borrowed and stole from other branches and then slowly starting to replenish the fleet. So um, that has been uh, an ongoing, a one year uh, project. And then the design of the building and figuring out exactly how to uh, 
make it work very, very functional and efficient. And we didn't want, you know, we got one chance to make it right, so we really devoted a lot of time with the different uh, people involved here and the experts in designing it. So it's, uh, it's coming. <laughs>